Welcome, I'm Tracy Wallach. In this lecture, I'll be describing the analytic network coaching system developed by Dr. Simon Western. Dr. Western is founder of the Echo Leadership Institute, CEO of Analytic Network Coaching, honorary professor of the Higher School of Economics in Moscow, author and presenter of the Edgy Ideas podcast. Analytic network coaching is a unique echo coaching methodology based on Dr. Simon Western's research on leadership and coaching since 2008. The aim of analytic network coaching is to develop a new cadre of executive coaches who take coaching beyond improving individual performance. Coaching requires a wake-up call. It's a powerful intervention and should focus on delivering a new ethical leadership capable of delivering success in our digital age. Dr. Western calls this new leadership paradigm echo leadership. This means coaches support leaders to address technological disruptions while they also focus on social justice and environmental sustainability. Leaders do not need more of the same approaches from the last century. Future fit organizations require new leadership for new times, and this requires new coaching approaches. Analytic network coaching is a coaching system that helps clients to develop their personal authentic leadership approach and to strategically influence the ecosystems in which they work. It is not a prescriptive coaching formula, but a process that guides coaches to work systematically and adaptively through five frames. The aim is for coaches to take their clients on a journey, beginning by discovering deep personal insights, focusing on their relationships with others and their unique leadership potential. This rich developmental journey is then applied to how the client can influence their workplace ecosystems. Analytic network coaching works with the understanding that change is not a top-down process. Connecting people in networks and unleashing the potential leadership in others is a much more powerful driver of positive change. Analytic network coaches take a clear ethical stance following the analytic network purpose to coach leaders to act in good faith to create the good society. The idea of good faith, based on Jean-Paul Sartre's writing, means to live and work with authenticity, values, courage, and integrity. Creating the good society is aspirational, for example, ending world hunger, but also in everyday experience, we co-create with others when we help each other or share in generosity, community, and friendship. The purpose of analytic network coaching is to help clients appreciate that the good society is both an aspiration and an everyday experience they can engage in a personal way. Analytic network coaching is thoroughly researched draws on robust published theory, as well as years of experience coaching leaders from diverse sectors from across the globe. Many coaching approaches are polarized, some focusing on the celebrated self using positive psychology approaches to focus on the client's performance and potential and largely avoiding problem talk. Others focus on the wounded self, helping to fix their client's problems, trying to sort out deep-seated troubles. The celebrated self-coach takes the role of an ego support act, while the wounded self-coach takes up the role of healer. Coaches also get caught by not challenging the personal scripts clients present with and are stuck in. Many leaders live in a world of celebrated self-language and use defense mechanisms to avoid addressing their anxieties and wounded selves. Other clients are trapped in wounded self scripts, undermining themselves, not feeling good enough, and focusing on their weaknesses and wounds from their past. Analytic network coaches are trained to beware of this binary trap. They're trained to bridge the wounded and the celebrated self, enabling the client to gain insights into patterns that hold them back and to come to terms with past scripts, but not to be determined by them. They also work with the celebrated self, building on existing strengths and seeking opportunities for growth. 
In this way, analytic network coaching produces a holistic coaching framework. Analytic network coaching helps clients to embrace sadness and difficulties, as well as to celebrate life's beauty, success, and joy. Analytic network coaching is both deeply personal and uniquely networked. It draws on psychoanalytic theory and practice, working at the conscious and unconscious level. It differs from positive psychology, solution-focused, or behavioral approaches in that it allows for deep insights and connections that can lead to sustainable changes. Such insights can be applied to relationships, teamwork, and leadership capabilities. Analytic network coaching is uniquely networked. It moves beyond the individual and goal-focused approaches that dominate the coaching field today. Analytic network coaching helps clients to locate themselves in their networks, to understand how these networks shape them and how they can shape the networks in which they live and work. Analytic network coaching embraces distributed leadership as traditional leadership forms are no longer fit for purpose. Analytic network coaching works across boundaries of person, team, organization, and wider society, as in reality, these boundaries are fluid. The individual is a product of the wider culture, context, and system. When coaching an individual, the wider system shows up in the session. The task of analytic network coaching is to connect the individual with their context, that is, the peer relationships, team dynamics, organizational culture, and social contexts that shape them. Sustainable organizational change cannot be achieved without addressing the deep human issues embodied in individuals, teams, and organizational cultures. The analytic network coaching system has five frames that allow the coach to guide the client through a process that connects their inner personal world to the outer work that they do. The frames are interdependent and connected. They provide a flexible but clear structure for the coaching process, which can be applied in an adaptive way. Depth analysis helps clients identify their key values and discover and work from their authentic selves to engage their human spirit. Conscious and unconscious inner patterns are examined in order to release dynamic creativity. In this soul work, the client also explores their true desire and purpose. Relational analysis aims to improve the client's relationships through understanding the relational dynamics that exist between the client and others. The focus is on small teams, groups, families, and friends, including distant and virtual relationships. Relational patterns from the past impact on present relationships. Underpinning emotions can entrap the client in certain ways of relating and experiencing relationships. The coach utilizes their own relationship with the client in the form of transference and countertransference as live data to inform the coaching work. Leadership analysis helps the client develop their unique leadership potential and to exercise active followership. Clients explore how they take up and react to authority and power and how they influence others. Leadership analysis aligns personality and context rather than following a universal leadership competency model. This analysis utilizes the hidden leadership questionnaire, identifying the client's leadership preferences. They discover how controller, therapist, messiah, or echo leadership approaches influence their own leadership behaviors and their followership responses. These discourses are described in previous lectures in the echo leadership series on this channel. This analysis also addresses how leadership can be distributed and how to enable leadership to flourish within teams and organizations. Clients explore how different contexts require different leadership approaches. The analytic network coaching philosophy is that everyone has leadership potential, not just those at the top. Coaches work with clients to foster leadership in unexpected places, to radically distribute leadership, 
and to enable it to flourish across organizations. Network analysis uses a specifically designed network mapping exercise. Analytic network coaches enable clients to situate themselves in the networks in which they live and work. The coach analyzes this map with the client, seeing where power and resources lie, where strong and weak connections are, and how change takes place. Externalizing the network map carried in the client's mind clarifies and enlightens. This begins a process of identifying connections the client needs to make and identifying nodal points of power that can influence change. The coach offers interpretations to the client associated to the holistic picture or map they face. Clients often feel empowered through network analysis because it reveals possible opportunities for influence and change where they might have previously felt stuck. Strategic analysis is the final frame where the previous four frames are reviewed. This enables the client to evaluate, consolidate, and innovate. Strategic analysis focuses on two emergent strategies, a personal one for the client themselves and one for their network and workplace. This means evaluating what's working or not working, identifying what's important to hold on to or let go of, and building on success. The client identifies gaps to work on and develops a personal development strategy. They also identify what changes are needed in their workplace, creating an emergent strategic plan of action. The strategic analysis frame binds all the frames together and turns reflection into action. Each frame in the analytic network coaching system is valuable in its own right, offering specific insights and learning that can be directly applied to work contexts. Together, the five frames allow clients to see connections between their inner selves, relational selves, and how they engage in their leadership and followership roles. This deep personal work of the first three frames is then put to work in the web of work and life. Seeing the bigger picture and influencing their workplace networks is an important shift that is missed in many coaching approaches. We live in a networked society and coaches need to help leaders navigate and influence in this space. Individual performance coaching just isn't enough. The final frame helps turn thinking to action and develops the client's capacity to connect all the frames and to think strategically and emergently. Analytic network coaches undertake an advanced training to become certified ANC coaches. The coach training is accredited by the ECHO Leadership Institute. When certified coaches join the ECHO Leadership Institute to continue their development, they're joining a dynamic international community of practice. For more information about Analytic Network Advanced Coach Training and the ECHO Leadership Institute, please go to www dot echo leadership dot institute slash events. To learn more about echo leadership and analytic network coaching, please see the following resources. If you are a progressive activist or change agent and wish to work with others to be coached in this method, please visit my website at www.tracywallach.com to sign up for my Leadership for Change program.